Because we talked about, remember, when it's 50. The idea of AI in education, definitely understand the concern, but I feel like there's going to be so much more good that comes out once we as teachers figure out how best to use it. What kind of program is it, Mr. O? It's a, oh, I'm supposed to say this mysteriously? Yes. It's a secret program that will change everything. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, Chat GPT, instead of um, looking for information, it's actually creating right in front of you. So if you ask it to write a play about four fifth graders and here's the problem that happens, it'll do that for you. This is Mr. Piercy returning to the classroom, looking flustered. I can't find him. The rhino is loose in the hall. I've only seen imagery AI, but like when I saw that it can write almost a full entire, basically a whole paragraph or a story, I honestly found that pretty amazing because it's a robot. It, it, you could make it do whatever you want on there. It's pretty interesting. You know, if you wanted to, you could say, write scene four, and just press enter, and it'll go ahead and it'll make something up, the aftermath. Um, but as I think of different tools and apps, you know, when Google Drive first came out, there was that big concern, oh, kids are just going to share their docs with one another, and then they're just going to copy and paste stuff from the internet and turn that in and claim it's their own work. Guess what? The more, majority of students don't do that. You can choose exactly to. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it saves all your chats. So like anyone that you do. You know, that's, that's new. They've added that in, like, the last week. Huh. So, like... The AI wrote us the entire script, and we didn't even know there was going to be a robot and time traveling involved. So, that's a fun thing about AI. It can sometimes be random, but I think random's good sometimes. We can't let Mr. O 